Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. Today we're going to do a quick tip on how you can move your pivot point on your mask. So let's add a mask to our scene. I'm going to connect that up to our merge. And let's make a little mask around this pole. Now by default, when we make our mask, the pivot point is dead in the center of the image. And we may or may not want that to happen. So right now, if we went to go rotate, you can see that it's rotating around the center of the image. So one way we can move the pivot is to add a transform. So let's grab a transform and add it underneath the polygon. And let's select both so that we can see the mask and the transform. And inside the transform on the inspector, we can move our pivot point. So we can move it, let's say, let's move it to the bottom of our mask. And now when we rotate, it'll rotate around that pivot point. So that's one way we can do it. Let's delete that. Another way that we can do it is actually inside the polygon itself. And to do this method, all you have to do is hold down M, and you can actually move your pivot point. But something that screwed me up when I first learned this technique was that if I press M right now, you can see what happened. It created a merge. So the remedy to that is, let's delete this merge. I'm going to connect our polygon back up. And we'll select our polygon. And all you have to do is click inside the viewer. So once I click inside the viewer, now if I hold M, I can grab our pivot point, just holding M down. And you can move it to wherever you'd like. So now you can see we can rotate and scale from that new pivot point. So that's just a quick tip on how you can move your pivot point on your mask. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and I'll see you again in the next video.